And as deliberations come to an end, we wanted to find out how this high profile case has been affecting businesses around the courthouse, including one restaurant that changed its menu. Our in depth coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum live in Fall River. We first did this story before the trial even started, so as the jury continues to deliberate, we're checking back in with some of these businesses around the courthouse. Right across the street from where the Aaron Hernandez trial is taking place is the Tap House Grill. Inside, they're offering the guilty burger or the not guilty wrap. Guilty burger uh, consists of, uh, you know, two six ounce patties, lots of barbecue sauce, bacon, fried onions. Probably feel a little guilty by the time you're done with it, as opposed to the non guilty wrap, which is a grilled piece of chicken, some roasted red peppers. Keith Barker says it's merely a coincidence that they started serving up these two options before Hernandez's trial started. But what's not a coincidence is a slight bump in their business. The business has probably increased about 5 to 10 percent, I'd say, over the lunch period. Uh, a lot of camera crews. Uh, news, news crews uh, from out of state. Parker tells us 5 to 10 percent isn't too significant, but it's something. Next door to the grill is Cafe Arpeggio. The past couple weeks has been very busy. They wouldn't tell us exactly how well they've been doing, but you can decide based off of their half empty pastry display. With this trial being so close to where your business is, have you been paying close attention to what's been going on in the courthouse? Sort of. I've been paying attention to know what's going on, who's coming in, if anybody uh, important is going to show up, so I know if there's going to be more or less people around. Not every business around the courthouse is doing so well. A restaurant down the street was forced to close. Live in Fall River, the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.